Welcome back, you guys. My name is Gamer Boy, and here today's game we're going to be playing. It's called Ratchet and Clank: A Crack in Time. And I am at this screen just because I have been trying to get this to work for a while, and yeah, it's been not wanting to work. Like after this screen, it's going to be a recap of the last two games in the future series: uh, Ratchet and Clank: Tools of Destruction and Ratchet and Clank: Quest for Booty. So. I tried to stop it and just quit out of it, and it did not like that, apparently, and I had to reinstall the game, apparently, and I am playing this on the original PS3, so, yeah, that, that, for some reason, does not want to work when you skip the first cutscene, apparently, so, I am just gonna enter, see the cutscene, and everything, like, you guys are gonna see it, too, because I actually forget what happens in Tools of Destruction, and I'm glad that it does give you a, a cutscene, because I really want to know why she was a part of our team in Quest for Booty. I really want to know, but let's go and enter, apparently. Uh, quiet on the set, please. Hello, test, test, one, two, Shh. testing. Uh, Captain, we're ready to get started. Uh, just take a seat over there. So I thought we could start with the whole I did my own stunts angle and sort of rolled into my method for accomplishing this brooding stare. Yes, we'll get into that in a second. Uh, but, but first, could you comment on the disappearance of Clank? Oh, right. Little guy. What do you want to know about him for? You've got El Numero Uno superhero right here. Ah, look at that, huh? There's your superhero. You can't see it, but there's a tribal tattoo under there. That's nice, but if, if you could just give us your version of the events. I'm sorry. I thought we were here to talk about my new hollow film, My Blaster Runs Hot. I mean, I wouldn't even be able to tell a story without some sort of visual. Do you have any crayons? We'll uh, add in the visuals. All right. It began a couple of years ago. I was manning my post as chief volunteer at the Planetary Defense Center when a deadly space armada began attacking Metropolis. Naturally, I could have handled the matter myself, but I was compelled to escort a group of underprivileged orphans to safety. I contacted Ratchet and Clank and deputized them to act in my stead. We soon learned that a vile tyrant named Percival Tachyon had amassed a large army and set his sights on destroying the galaxy's thriving Lombax population. Um, Ratchet is the only Lombax. Are you sure? Uh, pretty sure, yeah. Huh. Anyway, Tachyon was after a device that would enable him to bring back a banished race of creatures known as Kragmites. Little did he know, a mysterious race known as the Zoni were giving Clank new abilities including... Laser arms. But they were doing more than just giving him abilities, weren't they? Well, there was something about premonitions and yada yada yada, but the heart of the story is here with old CQ. Using my keen intellect and deceptive skills, I planted myself within the Emperor's ranks and tracked down the Dimensionator. Which you promptly delivered into the hands of Tachyon, enabling him to release the Kragmite Scourge. A mere bump on the road to victory, my friend. We still destroyed Tachyon, banished the Kragmites, and saved the galaxy. But then, in a shocking final twist, the very beings Clank claimed to have aided him snatched him from the Apogee space station, never to be seen or heard from again. Well, that's not necessarily true. Uh, Ratchet discovered his location in an uncharted system on the edge of the galaxy. His capture had been orchestrated by Dr. Nefarious. Oh, yeah, heard about that. I, of course, was on the set for my new hollow film, My Blaster Runs Hot, which, by the way, you have yet to ask about. One of the greatest heroes in the universe, your colleague, is captured by your nemesis, and you stay behind. Didn't you hear the call to arms? Of course I heard it. But when you get to be as big as me, you have to let a few of those babies go to voicemail, you know? <laughs> Kidding! Ha! Had you for a second. Of course I'm gonna help Clank. Me and Ratchet planned this whole thing. Hello? Call to arms? <laughs> Just kidding, it's my assistant. Raul, fire up the ship and call Ratchet. I've got a hero to save.
Okay, so it finally gets to the main menu. Thank you. I don't know how long I've actually been waiting to get to the main menu, but at least I'm here and I can at least go and do my stuff that I need to do before starting a new game and everything because this is actually my first time ever, ever playing this game. Like, I've never played this game any other time. This is my first time booting it up. I don't know what's going to happen, so... Let me just fix a few things and let's just then enter. Okay, so I'm gonna just enter and I'm gonna hit medium just because. And I really don't know what the brightness is gonna do. I really hope it's not like Quest for Booty where basically the brightness needs to be all the way up and it needs to look blown out just so then I can actually see apparently because this Quest for Booty was very dark in the caves and in dark areas, so I really hope I don't have to blow out the um, brightness and everything like I did for Quest for Booty, but let's just enter and just do this, and yes, I would like to create a new save, I would like to have a way of saving my progress, please. about my son? Remarkable boy. Quite smart. He was born in a robot factory in the Solana galaxy. But to be precise, he was created much farther away. My son's name is XJ0461, but the universe knows him as Clay. The Zoni are inquiring about our progress. Ah, how much longer must we pretend to be friends with those twits? Sire does not remember. You must fix. Yes, I'm fixing. I'm fixing. Stand by for sister board scan. Alright, let's see. Favorite colors green, favorite numbers 83 billion and 4.7. Blah, blah, blah. Access denied. New safeguard activated. No! No! Oh, locked out again! It's in here, Lawrence. Somewhere in this brain lies the key to the Orvis chamber. No, Orvis chamber. Your zoniness. If we could take but a peek at the chamber. No, Orvis chamber. Chamber is for sire only. Very well. Then I think it's time our partnership came to an end. Say hello! To... Not the hypersonic brainwave scrambler. The hypersonic brainwave scrambler! <laughs> Apologies, sir. I should have mentioned. The equipment is especially susceptible to sonic weaponry. Backup generator activated. He's awake! Stop him! Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Is the subtitles on or something? Because I do hear noise, like, like someone's talking. So, options, uh, game options. Yeah, subtitles are on. I just don't know if they're in game are. I don't know if the, the, um, um, subtitles are in game or not, but I hope they are. I really hope they are, but yeah. And extras, uh, okay. Okay, would like to not fall because that would be a good thing. And I do need to make sure that I can do this. And okay, what ability? Okay, so am I? Okay, so I am able to go and collect bolts and do stuff like that. Oh, there is someone talking. I did not realize that because 
Uh, it, yeah, it, it's just not gonna tell me, apparently. I'm your only hope of escaping Dr. Nefarious. Head into the air duct and keep moving! Sir, the security locks in Sector 1 have been activated. Our units are unable to proceed. Good! You're safe for now! Where am I? What is Dr. Nefarious doing here? I'll explain everything as soon as you're safe, sir. But right now, we need to calibrate your ocular response processes. Try looking at the ocular scanner on your left. Good. Okay, now look at the one on the right. Got it. All right, look at the scanner above you. Good. Now, there's one more beneath you. Got it! You're recalibrated! Now, keep moving! I'll hold them off as long as I can! Warning. Paradox Prevention Protocol. Okay, before anything, I want to make sure that I'm playing with the optimal, um, stuff and everything, like, um, um, controls. I want to try oh, Shooter yeah. to see... Okay, so looking, doing this... I don't know what Shooter does, but it seems like, yeah. And I have no idea where I'm at at the moment, but I will figure it out. I will figure it out, apparently. The registry shows that the number of Zodi has dwindled from 117,000 to 205. Zodi! Come back! I was only kidding! Come on! We had some good times, didn't we? Remember what I told you? There's a perfectly logical explanation for that. But let's save it for another time. Okay, I, I, I need to fix the audio, and I, I'm doing a lot of option stuff just because I really do need to, because it's like, I don't know what I am, um, what needs to be fixed or not. I hope I fixed what I needed to fix, but if I didn't, okay, so that's just gonna stay out and everything. So, this game has an, okay, can, can the camera work? Punch strong, sir. They belong to Dr. Nefarious. No, duh, I have to use it, and yes, I have helipack boosts, apparently, in this game. I have three. Don't know why I have, um, boosts. That's what I'm trying to do. I don't know who you are, but it seems like you are important to something in the story, and yeah, I actually do need to do this well. If I can do this well, that would be okay. Thank you. I, I thought I was about to fall, but I didn't. Okay, so you're a sensor that I don't need to be looking at, but yeah, the, yes, I know how to punch. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna get that just because it makes it easier to do this. Quick, they're right on your tail. Yes, they are. I wouldn't have guessed if you didn't tell me. We were just kidding. I have an idea. I'm going to let the hypersonic brainwave scrambler into the room. Uh... I have an idea. I'm going to let the hypersonic brainwave scrambler into the room. Um, okay, so this is happening. I don't know why it is, but Good it's sort of happening. Keep moving. That's what I'm Can trying to do. Can you just be quiet and allow me to just do this? It's not like it's my first time playing a Ratchet and Clank game. Oh no! This is terrible! All 
So apparently the brain scrambler is basically slowing down time for me and all that I guess. Or is it reverting time? Like, is this a place where time goes slow and everything or what? Like, it feels really interesting. Like, I understand why this game is called a crack in time, apparently. I just need to get to the end and be able to do this. Okay. Lock me in! Keep moving and don't let them anywhere near the chamber! Zero, four, two, six, eight, two, seven, two, one, two, three, two, one, two, three, two, one, two, three. This is a code red emergency. I am trying to do what I need to do here, it's just I am getting bombarded with a lot of things at the moment. Known you were behind this. Where have you taken me? You don't recognize it? This is your home! The Great Clock! A marvel of science and sorcery, engineered by the brightest Sony in all of existence, and constructed in the exact center of the universe! Give or take 50 feet. I am curious. What lie did you tell the Zomi in your quest for vengeance? Vengeance? You think I went to all this trouble for mere vengeance? They say I'm egomaniacal. Let's just say it's all in the past. Lawrence! Right here, sir. Ready the orb of gratuitous immobilization. <laughs> Shall I prepare the mnemonic station again? No. I have a better idea. But, sir... Patience, Lawrence. We have all the time in the universe. that if you lost your car keys in it, they would be almost impossible to find. Luckily for Ratchet, Captain Copernicus L. Quark was on the case. His mission, rescue the Lombax's one and only friend. Yep, without Clank, Ratchet was alone in the universe. Alone. 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 You realize this ship has an ejector seat, right? Sorry. I guess you could say I've been a little antsy in my pantsy at the thought of getting back into the hero business. <laughs> yep. These wild stallions have been in the stable too long. <laughs> right. Look, just keep your eyes peeled. Talon says this sector's crawling with mercenaries. Rest easy, my friend. My vigilance is both eternal and peripheral. Warning. Warning. Unidentified anomaly detected. Hang on. Shifting to evasive maneuver.
So much for clean underwear. Where the heck are we? <laughs> Beats me. Perhaps a leisurely stroll through this uncharted jungle will solve the mystery. I'm gonna guess that someone in the giant space station who basically controls time and everything, it, this planet is close enough to that, so they didn't want us to crash and everything, so they wanted us to take out Nefarious, stop his plans, and have um, Clank do his job like he needs to do, I'm guessing. Uh, of course, of course, so... Marooned on a hostile alien planet. Captain Quark realized his rescue mission would inevitably pit him against the most terrifying evil of all, nature itself. So, apparently, I don't know what the, um, difference between the, um, oh wait, let's try a shooter, I'm not really sure. Okay, so this, I'm actually enjoying the shooter. Wow, I'm actually surprised that Ratchet & Clank actually has a shooter mode. That actually does help, because I have played shooters, and it actually does help when you have a gun and there's a lot of enemies around, so when I have my gun out, it's a good idea to always, um, like, be prepared. Okay, slight problem. I'm not so good with swimming. Just wait here. I'll find you another way across. Oh, great. This rain is gonna be murder on my spandex. Do I have any of my abilities from Quest for Booty? Because if I do, then that can actually work in my favor. That could work in my favor. It, if I have the abilities from Quest for Booty in this game, then that would be really cool because then that would mean that that um, the abilities do come and I want I wonder okay so I only have my one blaster and everything for right now and I still don't know why you can't just do the jumping like I just did I don't understand quark why you can't what but is the plan, anyway? well where there are bridges there are people where there are people there are ships you see where I'm going with this hey that's pretty smart you're gonna make a great sidekick Look at this beautiful native craftsmanship. Take that! Whoa! Quark, are you seeing this? Something is seriously wrong with this planet. Uh, it's like time is all not working. I like that the person that was with me in the last game is not with me in this game because they were annoying. Like, why did I have them? Like, did I really need to have a partner when I really didn't need one? Like, you gonna be all right with those things on the loose? Please, I can handle a few tiny creatures. Okay, so I tried to jump right there, but it didn't work. But yeah, she did not do anything, and the game was even trying to get rid of her. So it's like, why was she in the game exactly? It just didn't make any sense on why, but I, at least I was able to go and complete it, with even with the little help that she did give. Help! Their parents are here! <laughs> you see the size of those things? They were horrible! Come on, maybe there's a... Concern for his compatriots' well-being, Captain Quark's noble sidekick ninja leaps from stone to stone. Below him, six deadly inches of crystal blue water. Okay, so if I go diagonal within this mode of, um, yes. fire... of firing and movement, I basically have a strafe. So I should just keep holding forward and just do what I need to do. Apparently because I, yeah, if I, if I have my gun out and I go side to side, it will basically change my um, stance to more of a this type of stance. So, yeah. maximum damage. For a fair price, of course. 
Um, I am definitely not buying a Mr. Zircon because they basically Mr. Zircon is very annoying, and I'm not gonna. I could, but I'm not. And this, I don't know what it is, but yeah, I'm not gonna buy anything at the moment. Like I can. But I'm gonna just be using the abilities that I already have. Into the jungle, blaster at the ready, prepared to deliver swift justice to those who cross his path. Can you just not, Cork? Can you just not? That would be fantastic. And I know I said I wasn't gonna do it, but I am just so then I have it. Tired of having to purchase a different weapon for every occasion? Then try Drummonet's new constructor. Don't care. Just would like to not have to deal. And really, do I really have to wait for you? That's not exactly what I want. But at least now I know if I have my gun out, I don't have free movement. If I do have my gun out, if, basically, if I don't have my gun out, then I have free movement. If I have my gun out, then basically I can straight. I'll, and do a lot better within the combat, apparently. Okay, so I follow you, and you just take me to the next area. Please, please help me. My children, they're in danger. What seems to be the problem, citizen? Cyphoid. We were fishing up the river when they attacked. Quark, stay here. I'll go save the children. You got it, sidekick. Smart thinking. I'll just stay here and hold the fort. So I'm guessing someone in the sta um, station that basically messes with time is trying to help Clank. No help, um, um, Ratchet. Dad, somebody. It feels like someone really wants Ratchet to get to the station and everything because, yeah, it just seems like that's what's going to happen and what is happening, I guess. Okay, so I have to go fast and make sure that I can do this. I know I can, I just have to make sure that I am able to. And what are you? Let's... Oh! Oh, this is really, really cool! So, I... This is cool! So, now I... So, am I able to do this in the menus and everything? Because if I am, then that's gonna be really, really cool. Wow! So, I am able to customize everything if I want to. That is really, really cool, and that looks like the suit that Ratchet is wearing, and, oh, I'm able to paint it myself if I want to, but I am technically not going to do that. Wait, I would like to customize and see the, um, stuff that's here, so I basically can only change the paint on, like, this one, and then on this one, I'm able to change if it's a blaster or a coil blaster. That's cool, and the slingshot and stuff like this, I'm not, at the moment not able to do. I can only do, like, the weapons, I guess. Oh, and I'm able to... Okay, so it makes it easier to... Thank you. In other Ratchet & Clank games, I wish that doing it this easy was a thing, but I'm, I'm fine if they don't. I'm fine if they don't. I'm just glad that those other Ratchet & Clank games are good. Uh, but... Let's just keep moving forward and doing what I need to because I know I need to keep moving forward and doing what I need. Like, I am glad that this game is telling me... Okay, so I... Basically, I can't be in blaster mode if I'm trying to jump and everything. In blaster mode, I can't really do the jumping because if I do, then it's not going to work as well as I want it to. So, I'm... Oh! Okay, so my directionals are basically my um, other stuff, so that's cool, I guess. So I should not be in my blaster mode right now, I should just be in the this mode. 
And you are, I guess, one of the kids, and I wonder I why on, like, 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 organic life is not affected by the um, time thing. I wonder why, but it will probably tell us eventually. Like, I get the bugs and birds Thanks, and... Kitty. My mom's this way, Kitty. Like, I understand, like, the bugs and birds and everything, but I wonder why Ratchet and the other um, people aren't. Oh! Okay, so I have that. That's cool. So I should just be going this way, I guess. Or no, wait, that's the way that I was. But am I able to buy anything? Like I do know I need the ammo. I do know that. Yes, I know my health is full health. And I okay, thank you. So now I just keep moving forward. I wonder if I can. All right, customize anything else. Wow, thanks, mister. My mom's over there. No, duh. That, that, that's why I'm trying to save you, because... Okay, first of all, would not like to be in that... Would like to have this weapon. Okay, so I have to go and take that out. I don't know what the difference between the modifiers are, but I am glad that... I can just press the triangle button and I can just go and hit. This game is a way big update between um um the last game, Quest for Booty. Quest for Booty was a good game, but it seems like it felt it felt a little bit rushed in certain areas. It felt really rushed in certain areas, and it wasn't as polished as this is. Like I guess this is supposed to be an update to um what Ratchet and Clank is. Like, like it's supposed to be an update to um, um, Tools of Destruction and everything, but the last game, Quest for Booty, it did not seem as updated as this game is. But whatever, at least I am during this game, and I am... Oh wait, these gold bolts, am I able to go in... Not options, into the extras and everything... Oh, these are skill points, okay. And I'm guessing that, of course, I can change my outfit, and I... Of course. I don't know who this character is, but it seems very, um, important. I, I, so, um, yeah, Dave Johnson, I'm guessing, um, from what I know of Dave Johnson, I'm guessing he worked at Insomniac, I guess. I'm not really sure about that. And they wanted to immortalize him within the Ratchet and Clank games, I guess. I'm not really sure, but that's what it seems like, but... Um, I would like to, um, yeah, I'm just gonna go and be my, um, normal skin and be doing that and everything, so, let's go save you. Wow. are you a real Lombax? I think my mom's over here! Um, why do the kids know about, uh, Lombaxes? Like, why does he know about Lombaxes? Like, that is a bit suspicious. That's a little bit suspicious. Oh, thank you so much. Happy to be of service, ma'am. The Cyphoids will be back soon. Come, we have to get into the village. So, what are these things? Mutated viruses from the Cortho sector. We haven't seen them on this planet in years. Something must have happened to the Zoni. Alpheus, yeah. open the door! Anessa, what are you doing out here? The Xiphoids are back. There must be something wrong with the Timekeeper. Not in front of the Outsiders. Quickly, we must head into the village. Okay, so basically stuff is happening. These There's cracks in time the and... Right now. Well, one of the Elders spotted Lord Vorsalon's warship over the falls. Lord Vorsalon? <laughs> that Raven must be making trouble again. We have to move everyone into the village. So basically, um, um, the timekeepers are basically what Clank is, and he was just built at the wrong place and everything, so it makes sense on, like, why Clank is there. And you need to stop. You need to stop right now. I don't need to be... Yes, I would like to get 
the ammo, and I would like to just keep going forward, please. And you, over there, I would like to just be able to hit. Well, they won't stop until they've broken through the wall. We have to protect the villagers. Time to bring the thunder. Thanks, Ratchet. I, uh... Am I doing it? Okay, so I need my normal blaster, need my normal blaster, I'm glad that... I'm glad that I do have a mode in this... That, I'm glad that they have a mode in this that allows you to do the shooting method and everything. I'm just glad. For some reason, I cannot speak today. Can't speak, but... At least I am able to kill the enemies, so that's a good thing. And you, just leave me alone. I saw your starship crash on the other side of the ridge. <laughs> I believe we may be of assistance. Well, the ship's trashed. There's no way we'll be able to repair it. Ah, but the Zoni can. Meet me at the Temple of Zan whenever you're ready. I will explain everything. <laughs> so basically, um, the Zoni are basically, or the Zuni are basically um, creatures that these um, alien creatures who I basically land on the landed on the planet basically basically the Zuni are popular on this planet but yes hi whatever let me just get all the bolts because I do need all the bolts just so then I'm able to go and do what I need to do by upgrading my weapons and if I die a lot I would like to In be able to upgrade my weapons me. and also be able to do what I need to do by getting more ammo okay and you are um, let's try you out because I know I can't this genetically mutated Xenago is the perfect weapon for crowd control of a destructive nature firing the weapon at a group of enemies will unleash a deadly and destructive mating call kick Okay, so it does that. I'm not gonna... Looks like this guy was some sort of hero. Um, yes, um, Quark, I get it. Let's just go and do this, I guess. Your starship is not beyond repair, but fixing it will take powers beyond anything this universe has ever seen. Powers not to be taken lightly. Can you keep a secret? Well... The Zoni are powerful creatures, capable of almost anything, Mal. But they are also hive minds, and must be kept together for their energy to work. Inside is a vessel, which will allow you to rescue lost Zoni, Mal, and harness their bioenergy. Follow me, and don't touch anything. So I'm basically gonna go in there, and Quark is gonna mess it up somehow, and... He's gonna, I guess, touch something that makes it, um, hard for us to do anything, I guess. Um, we'll have to sure. Seal you inside until you recover the vessel. Are you sure you don't want to stay here? Well, we have a lovely miniature golf course. I'll be fine. Quark, link into my nav unit. We'll stay in radio contact. Copy that. Operation Red Shirt is a go. Uh, of course, so I'm gonna have to go in here alone, and I'm glad about that just right. because. The key to surviving situations like this is to avoid phrases like, it's too quiet in here, or everything's going to be alright. Is that Clank? That looks like Clank, and I don't understand, like, how is that Clank when basically Clank was with me and wasn't built. Got it. I'm through. And wasn't built until basically a few games ago. Like, like he yeah. wasn't built until recently. So, how is how do they know about Clank? I'm through. Let's hope this vessel is worth it. According to the chief, it's one of a kind, brought to this dimension by Orvis and entrusted to the Fongoids. And he's sure it'll fix Aphelion? He said it'll do a lot more than that. Zoni bioenergy is the most powerful resource in the Omniverse. Uh, of course it is. Yes, let's just do this and let's get to Zuni. Let's do what we need to do. And yeah, I still don't have an idea of what's going on, but I'm figuring it out step by step, little by little. Whoa, Quark, 
There are two Zoni in here. Those poor lost little creatures. See if you can grab one with your wrench and stuff it into the vessel. Got it. Nice work, Ratchet. Operation Red Shirt is a success. Um, of course this is gonna be a thing. I... I get it, so I'm just gonna have to go back through the, um, maze-like area and make sure that I can do this, apparently. So, yeah, I'm gonna have to get the Zoni and everything, or the Zuni, or whatever they're really called. I don't really care. I just need to collect them and make sure that I can do this, because if I don't do this, then I'm not gonna be able to... Yeah. Okay, so is that enough for me to go and get my ship rebuilt, or what? You survived? I mean, you survived! <laughs> I told you he'd do it! Well done! The vessel is yours! <laughs> Come, there is one more Zoni we put in the old armory for safekeeping. Our guards discovered it wandering around the waterfront. It can help you repair your ship! <laughs> Quick! Everyone inside the temple! Ocelot is coming! Alright, Quark. You ready to let those stallions out of the stable? I was born ready. Ah! I believe Dr. Nefarious was clear as to the repercussions of leaving your hovel. The clock is ours. Whoa, uh, wait. Who? Dr. Nefarious has no authority here, villain. In fact, I'm not even entirely convinced he's a real doctor. So return my sidekick's pal before I bring the thunder. You win again, technology. To the exile, bring the rest in for question. Okay, so I'm gonna have to do this and make sure that I don't die. Makes sense. Kidnapping the villagers! We have to stop them! I wonder why they're capturing the villagers. Maybe they're useful in doing stuff. And I guess that they are because... Congratulations! Your weapon is upgraded! Weapons upgrade automatically as they are used! Thank you for upgrading. I don't really need to be... Okay, okay. Before anything, I'm gonna go to... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep the... Um, yeah, I need it to be able to tell me when I upgrade an item, uh, weapon, just because if it doesn't tell me when I upgrade a weapon, then I'm gonna just get really confused and frustrated if it upgrades and I don't even notice. So, wow, I need to do a lot better and have better weapons out. I have a secret passageway that will take you back to your ship. Stay close. Yes, thank you, but I would like to go up here first just to get the bolts, just because the bolts actually seem like they're going to be very useful. Don't know why there were bolts in the last game when they weren't really useful, but let's just keep going. And yes, I know I'm destroying everything, but I just want to make sure that I have everything. Oh, I actually have to, uh, of course. Just use this weapon, and I should have it done. Okay, can you not? That would be fantastic. I just want to be able to make it to the ship and reconfigure it so then I can go and fly out of here. Okay, so you're going to be a thing. Not gonna be easy, but I know I can actually do this because I have done the last area. And if I can do the last area, then I can do this area. I just need to focus and remember what the controls are. We're too late! For Salon is leaving! Of course. At least they don't have you, so that's a good thing. At least they don't have you, so that is a good thing, and I can just here, keep moving quickly. forward. Yeah. Well, 
This is the last shred of technology in the entire village. I was always meaning to dismantle it, but now I'm glad I didn't. This teleporter will take you back to your ship. Well, follow me. So you don't like technology? I I see. I don't know why you don't like technology, but okay. Quick, use this Zoni vessel to repair your starship. How do I do that? Do I have to go into my inventory and actually activate it or something? So the more zoni I have, the more upgrades I can do, I guess. Makes sense. And I hope I leave Quark here. I hope, really, really hope I leave Quark here and I don't have to deal with him. I really, really hope. Oh! Um, okay. This is a really cool thing that I now have and everything. That That is really cool. Quark, come in. Do you read me? It's good to hear your voice, Ratchet. They've got us in these containment cells and they're coming with food. Oh, thank heaven. They're coming with tap water? You animals. Would you just listen to me? I need you to activate the nav beacon on your belt. Can you do that? Good. Now hang tight. I'm on my way. Of course, so this is a flight section, and I will have to do this, but I am gonna save that until next episode, because, wow, I did a lot, and I actually didn't know I did a lot, but I did, and I am now understanding a little bit, like, I'm understanding that the uh, Zoni, basically, people who control, um, time and everything, and I'm guessing Dr. Nefarious is gonna make time go all wibbly wobbly and make it so there are cracks within it it seems like i'm not really sure about that but it seems like that's what's gonna happen so yeah i'm gonna have to worry about that next episode and i'm gonna have to take dr nefarious down i still don't know why dr nefarious is on that um place or in that place because he seems like the last person that you would ever want on to a place where it has time as the main focus of the device that's on or in where he is at, of course. But whatever, he's there and I have to take him out. But anyway, I really hope I find Clank next episode and I hope that I'm able to do what I need to do and figure out what this whole time daily thing is, but anyway, I am just going to leave this episode here, and I am just going to go. See ya! If you like the video, hit that like button. If you want more videos by me, give a boy subscribe button, and I'll see you all guys in the next video.